In this video, I'll be solving January 2020, paper 2, question 4. The function f is defined as f of x is equal to 2x plus 7 all over 5, part a1, find the value of f of 4 plus f of minus 4 for 2 marks. So, I will calculate here f of 4 and f of minus 4 separately and then add the values. So, f of 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 plus 7 all over 5. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 plus 7 all over 5. 7 and 8 is 15 divided by 5, which is 3. Now f of minus 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 4 plus 7 all over 5. This is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 4 is minus 8 plus 7 all over 5. This is equal to minus 1 over 5. So therefore, f of 4 plus f of minus 4 is equal to 3 plus minus 1 over 5, which is equal to 2 and 4 over 5. Part 2a, calculate the value of x for which f of x is equal to 9 for 2 marks. So I'll start off by writing here that f of x is equal to 2x plus 7 all over 5. And when f of x is equal to 9, we could equate here f of x. So therefore, 9 is equal to 2x plus 7 all over 5. I'll put this over 1 and cross multiply. So 9 multiplied by 5 here is 45. This is equal to 2x plus 7. 45 minus 7 is equal to 2x. 38 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x here is equal to 19. Part 2b, hence or otherwise determine the value of f inverse of 9 for 1 mark. Now from part a, we calculated here when f of x is equal to 9, we found here that x is equal to 19. So this implies here that f of 19 is equal to 9. So 19 here is equal to f inverse of 9. Part B. The graph below shows two straight lines, L1 and L2. L1 intercepts the x and y axes at 4, 0 and 0, 2 respectively. L2 intercepts the x and y axes at 1.5, 0 and 0, minus 3 respectively. Part 1. Determine the equation of the line L1 for 3 marks. So this is L1 here. Notice that the y intercept here, 0, 2. The x intercept here at 4, 0. I'm going to use those two points here to find the gradient. So m here is y2 minus y1 all on x2 minus x1. So this is equal to 0 minus 2 all on 4 minus 0. So this is minus 2 over 4, which simplifies here to be minus a half. So m here is equal to minus a half. And from the graph, we know that the y-intercept here is 2. Now the general equation of the straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. And substituting the values of m and c, y is equal to minus a half x plus 2. Part 2. What is the gradient of the line L2 given that L1 and L2 are perpendicular for one mark? Now, for perpendicular lines, the product of their gradients is equal to minus 1. So I could write here that m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1. This implies here that m2 is equal to minus 1 all on m1. Alright, so substitute in here for m1. 
m1 here is minus a half m2 is equal to minus 1 over 1 multiplied here by the reciprocal which is minus 2 over 1 and this will give me m2 to be 2.